Well, as the partial government shutdown continues, local restaurants that cater to federal workers are feeling the impact. KPI X5's Dahlin found out that uh, some owners are cutting business hours and sending employees home. Fewer people working at the federal building means fewer people buying sandwiches at the deli store and nearby businesses. Between the slow holidays and the partial shutdown, many business owners say they're dealing with a double whammy. It's the holiday season, I understand this, but not like this. Sam Sam Hori owns a deli and a pizza restaurant across from the federal building. <laughs> Only essential employees are working. That means most of his customers are home. Right now it's almost 12 o'clock lunchtime. I have nobody. And look, it's in the street. There's like nobody walking by. By 12:10, still quiet. This was their lunch rush. He had to send workers home early. He says this past Wednesday was the worst day this year. The total receipt shows how much he made in the deli store: $467. On the right is how much he made last year on that Christmas week Wednesday: $866. The only people show up only contractor. The rest like nobody. He's thankful for the big construction project a block away. Other nearby businesses have the same complaint. The owner at this dry cleaner tells me very few people dropped off clothes this week. Instead, customers are calling her saying they'll pick up their clothes when the government reopens. Thank you. No problem. And at this cafe, they're selling less coffee and snacks. Workers are worried. If we don't get that traffic or that constant rush, we get sent home. We don't, our hours get cut. The deli and the restaurant are typically open on Saturdays, but given how slow this week has been, the owner Sam plans to close tomorrow. He says he'll lose more money if he stays open. In Oakland, I'm Dahlin, KPIX 5. Fellow Maki, all praises, honor, and glory goes to Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai by Hashem, Makakwadash, the waters to my apostles and elders of Great Millstone. You know, and peace and blessing to you, fellow Akim out there pushing out this word and truth and city. I right, your brother Kanak. And I want to do a video real quick uh, about, you know, this partial government shutdown is just, you know, it's just a prelude to the things that are really, really going to happen on the planet Earth. How America is going to be, you know, totally destroyed. And these things are going to come upon, you know, you Americans. Okay, suddenly. Okay, you think that, you know, uh, you know, the prophets are out there for, for not, you believe the words that we don't, the words that we speak from the Heavenly Father are not inspired from the Heavenly Father and then all the things that we, you know, are telling you about how this economic, you know, collapse is going to happen, you know, how Esau is going to push his chip, how before that there's going to be, you know, uh, no jobs, people are going to be losing their jobs, people are going to be in debt, you know, people are going to be in uprisings, just as over there in France and Europe, all, all those things are going to come to America and they're going to come to America suddenly. Okay, just as the video that you just saw, the video you just saw was businesses already being affected, okay, from this partial government shutdown. So what happens if there's a full government shutdown, you know, from the state to federal level, okay, and, you know, all these companies, you know, they're not able to, you know, uh, pay, they're not able to make payroll, they're not able to pay their employees, and then their employees, they're one check, one paycheck away from you know from being out on the streets that's the majority of americans are one paycheck away from being in, in total poverty okay amongst there's a already a homeless crisis not just you know a drug addicts but actually working homeless people that actually cannot afford you know the housing especially in places as uh here on the west coast you know san francisco seattle la san diego these so-called big metropolitan cities, you know, with all these tech booms, all right, uh, the, the, the average everyday worker working at a deli shop, you know, uh, you know, doing these, you know, service jobs, you know, transportation jobs, they're not able to, you know, live in the area that they work, all right, so a lot of them, they live in their cars, and you're going to see a large influx, especially in 2019, of people uh, losing their jobs, you know, and, you know, I wouldn't be surprised if massive riots start, okay, because people are not able to take care of themselves. And you see that these store owners, with him, which it looked like he was a damn Arab, you know, they're going to feel the pinch too, all these other nations that came over here to, uh, you know, take advantage, you know, take advantage of cheap loans, take advantage of uh, setting up shop 
making millions of dollars in uh, Jake neighborhood. Well, they're going to feel the, the, the crunch also. OK, and it's going to come a point to where Jake Jake's going to be running up in them stores or Jake's going to be running up in their in their houses. Why? Because they're not going to have no food. All right. The real animalistic, you know, uh, uh, spirit is going to come out um, amongst you Americans, you know, and there is going to be no love, no unity. OK, towards you, towards uh, your average or towards your your fellow American. So, you know, I'm not going to make this quick. You know, I'm going to make this. Uh, I'm sorry. I'm not going to make this long. I'm going to make this quick. Just going into how, you know, this place is being broken down right before your eyes. This is Isaiah 24 and 10. And it reads, the city of confusion is broken down. The city of confusion, which the word confusion, okay, um, in the Hebrew is Babal. Okay, the English way of saying that is Babylon. So the, the city, the city Babylon is broken down. Every house is shut up. There's no... Uh, that no man may come in and this is this government this partial government shutdown all right it's just a prelude to the things that are really going to happen on a planet earth on a on a on a, a very heightened level okay an intensified level okay this place is going to look like a third world country more than it already is okay you're not going to be able to you know take care of your family you're not going to be able to put food okay on your on on the table all right what happens when they cut out all the government entitlement programs is that not part of the federal government is that not part of state government so when all those things get shut down the EBT gets shut down these the federal housing you know uh, uh, these different programs these different loan programs these different programs you know emergency cash you know emergency money for you know children and and, and single single mothers what's going to happen when all that runs out and as you can see in that video you know uh, the owner even though it's on a small level, he's worried. And then, you you know, you have the, the, the also the workers. And that's going to trickle down. That's going to affect the whole economy. Okay? Amongst, there, there's going to be no jobs. Okay? Amongst that, there's going to be, you know, uh, uh, no food. Okay? Disease. All, right, all these things about the befall of the planet Earth. There is a crying for wine in the streets. All joy is darkened. The mirth of the land is gone. All right. See, there is going to be no more mirth, no play, no joy here in Babylon. OK, it's going to be gone. All right. Because all the, the businesses, they're going to be sh cl uh, closed up like uh, you have Sears. They're, they're pretty much bankrupt. They're going out of business. All these different Fortune 500 companies that made billions upon billions of dollars off the American people. Now they're not able to sustain they're not able to sustain nor they're able to pay uh, their employees. So what's going to happen? Are they going to be laid off? Okay, then the, the employees, they have to uh, look for new work. They're not able to find work. They have to go on, you know, uh, unemployment. Well, unemployment is going to be shut down. That's part of government funding. So uh, unemployment is going to be shut down. These day, these day uh, labor jobs are going to be shut down. All right, everybody's going to be fending for themselves. All right, this place is about to, this place is about to, uh, you know, turn into, you know, all out uh, anarchy. And this is, you know, also part of the elite's plan to push their new world order, to bring in a market of beasts. And you people are going to, you know, run, run to the government uh, uh, for this chip, for the RFID. So you'll be able to eat. So you'll be able to feed your family. So you'll be able to get a job. The city is less, the city it's left desolation and the gate is smitten with destruction so there there is going to be nothing here but destruction okay for uh for the, the whole landmass of america like over there in venezuela venezuela is cut off from pretty much the world all right they're they're suffering mass amounts of poverty extreme poverty at that extreme poverty has increased and this is a country that that has uh, um very very rich in natural resources well in venezuela you can fill your car up for a dollar whole tank of gas but they're not able to trade with different nations so they're pretty much there's a siege being waged on venezuela and that same thing is going to happen with this protectionism uh, uh stance that trump has taken which is all part of the the illuminati this is all part of the elite's plan which the scriptures say that we are not ignorant of satan devices so there's going to be famines. There's going to be no jobs. Okay, there's going to be a, a, a crying for wine. There's going to be a crying for the, uh, the truth out there. The truth is going to get shut up. 
according to uh, Amos 8 and 11. Okay, amongst amongst, you know, uh, multiple different things that are going to be happening, like wild beasts. Okay, you're going to have massive uprisings of the people killing each other. Okay. Uh, let's go. Let's go here. This is Ecclesiastes 12 and 1. Remember now thy creator in the days of thy youth while the evil days come come not and we see that the evil days they're coming they're here okay there's already people experiencing you know the 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 economy crashing or right, you have so much volatility in the stock market people losing their whole you know nest egg nor the the years draw nigh when thou shalt say I have no pleasure in them all right so pretty much if you're an Israelite you have to come to the Lord now before you know the, the Lord really plug a pull the plug on this place and you experience what what you see in that video on a higher level was what uh these average everyday americans are going to experience these heathens they're going to experience it all right two-thirds of you jakes are going to experience it okay not not being able to pay for your rent uh being in, in tons of credit card debt are right, you you have to budget are right, you have the budget uh, 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 uh you have to ration food in your family all right, people, there's more division within your family because, you know, you, your, your son might be eating, eating the food that you have stored, okay, and it's not enough to go around. All right, it says, while the sun or the light or the moon or the stars be not darkened, nor the clouds return after the rain. Pretty much, you know, while this truth is out here. Okay, by the tr when the truth is shut off, that's how you know it's really going to get bad. When, when Yahweh by Shema Shai, when he really cuts off the internet, when he cuts off from being able to hear the things on the internet, because the internet still can be up, but the Lord can, you know, pretty much make it to where Esau censors the internet. And you see remnants of that now. All right, videos are being blocked. Okay, whole whole alternative media sources, they're being X out of these social media platforms. Okay, for the uh saying that they, they are pushing disinformation. Okay, verse 3, in the day when the keepers of the house shall tremble and the strong men shall bow themselves and the grind and the grinders cease because they are few and those that look out of the windows be darkened and the doors shall be shut in the streets when the sound of grinding is low. Grinding meaning work. Okay, so the grinding is going to be few. The grinding is going to be low. There is going to be no work out here All right, for you to go to the grocery store. All right, there's going to be a run on the grocery store. There's going to be bank runs, okay? Are right, they going to they're going to have armed guards or police officers at these banks because people are going to be you know trying to get in to get money, and there is going to be no money in those banks because everything is already digital. And he shall rise up early at the voice of the bird, and all the daughters of music shall be brought low. So you know these things are fastly approaching, and really they're 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 here. They are here sooner than later okay this is uh isaiah 19 and 15 neither shall there be any work in each Egy for egypt see this um, uh egypt is talking about a modern day uh excuse me this egypt is talking about modern day america all right there is going to be no work in egypt the unemployment rate which is is is, is very is much higher than what the government is telling you the unemployment unemployment rate is is skyrocketed. All right, there is no jobs out here to get, and if they are jobs, they're part time jobs, no health care, okay, paying you pennies on a dollar, basically a a slave wage. You you have just enough to get by. All right, you have to uh the you have to rob Peter to pay Paul. Uh, that's that's a scene in the world. You have to penny pinch, or right, you have to uh get coupons, or you have to turn to a life of crime. Which the head or tail, branch or rush may do. See? And in that day shall Egypt be like unto woman. And it shall be afraid and fear because of the shaking of the hand of the Lord of hosts, which he shall shake over it. And this is pretty much the, the Heavenly Father, you know, uh, shaking his hand. Okay? Oh, you're going to have natural disasters. Okay? So you're going to have no work. Okay, you're, you're not going to have any food. There's going to be a famine of food. There's going to be a famine of, of, of hearing the word. Okay, hearing the truth. Okay, there's going to be massive riots. All right. You're not going to have any work. All right, you, there's going to be diseases out here. All right, this place is, this place is about to get, this place is about to be uh, really hit with the plagues. 
let me bring out that scripture and then we're just going to end it off you know i just wanted to go through that real quick i seen that video and people are already feeling you know the impact of this government shutdown now you know trump which i got to go through the articles i had some articles about the the shutdown i haven't got to them yet uh i haven't you know got to the uh the video yet president trump on front but Lord's will, you know, I can, you know, do an update on a video about this government shutdown, which there's going to be a total shutdown of government. All right, if not, this is the shutdown. Well, you know, there is going to be a shutdown very soon. Soon, the Most High is going to shut down this place. Okay. This is a uh, Second Ezra 15, and uh, and I started at nine. And therefore said the Lord, I will surely avenge them and receive unto me all the innocent blood from among them. And therefore said the Lord, I will surely avenge them. Uh, so like I read the same verse again. Uh, verse 10, behold, my people is led as a flock to the slaughter. I will not suffer them to dwell in the land of Egypt. This is talking about America. Okay, according to Revelation 11 and 8. But I will bring them with a, a mighty hand and a stretched out arm and smite Egypt with plagues as before. And will destroy all the land thereof. All right, and the so-called white man loves to make, uh, you know, renditions of, you know, the the exodus out of Egypt and how Egypt was plagued. Okay, the modern the the uh, the Egyptians, the pharaohs. All right, and you so-called white people, you are the modern day Egypt. All right, and the Most High is smiting you with all type of things. All right, he's pretty much he's crumbling your society right before your eyes. Okay, it's imploding on itself. All right, because it was established on wickedness. Egypt shall mourn, see, and the foundations of it shall be smitten with the plague and punishment that the Most High shall bring upon it. So, so the Most High is bringing these plagues upon Egypt, and that's and 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 not being able to, uh, you know, provide for your family. That's a plague from the Heavenly Father. All right, you you're not able to, you know, pay for medical expenses. All right, you, your daughter is sick. You're not you're not able to pay for your wife to uh, have uh, to be in labor. You're a debt. Are your uh, the job that you've been working on for 20 years? Are they uh, they lay you off? They don't give you any severance package. Now you can't find work. All right, so we're already seeing this. We're we're coming into the the uh, as uh, Matthew 24 says it. Let's bring it out and we'll just close it out through the Spirit. Matthew 24 and uh. Matthew 24, and we will start at 6. And ye shall hear of wars and rumors of wars. See that ye be not troubled, for all these things must come to pass, but the end is not yet. For nation shall rise against nation, and kingdom against kingdom, and there shall be famines and pestilences and earthquakes in diverse places. All these are the beginning of sorrows. So, okay, so America is coming into the beginning of sorrows. Where the Most High, Yahabashim Shai, the one who you despise, you eat my despise, say that there is no God. All right, the one two thirds of our people refuse to come back to and serve. He's gonna, he's gonna really, really, you know, uh, show you that uh, that he's not playing. All right, to the point to where he's gonna just, he's gonna take out all joy out of your heart. All right. So with that, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai Bashem, or Till next time, Shalom.